Hi, Sweetums. So it's 31st of December 2020. We are saying happily goodbye to this pretty dreadful year. I'm pretty happy about it. Let's, uh, let's hope 2021 is a little bit better, a little bit kinder to everyone. But anyway, let's go back to our tutorial. First things first, let's git add all and git commit with the message um, created views and URLs for air pollution and, and what and fixed nav bar. Okay, so we just commit the changes. Let's refresh and it should be white. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I want to talk about making links in a more Django way, in a more programmatic way. So up until now, you saw me using something like slash or slash air pollution in our HTML. So let's go to base HTML, for example. And in here, this slash is representing a way of saying, hey, I want to go to the home page. And it works. And you could see it works. But there is more programmatic way and safer way in case you change your mind and maybe you want to you want your home page to be at home, so domain name slash home, and that won't work anymore. So instead of this slash, let's put in a URL tag, URL, and the name of the home page URL, and let's go to website and URLs, and that's the name I'm talking about. So let's copy this website index and put it in here. And let's see what happens. So what we have to do is we have to go to an app so we can be on home page we need to be in an app page so let's go to an app page and now if we click here it still works still works exactly the same but now we are using the url name and that's more programmatic way that's more correct way but wait a second so now we have this thing obviously we probably want to use the same kind of approach and even better i would like to split those urls between different apps so this one comes from website app and the name of the URL is website index. Okay, and maybe we don't need a website here. So now let's go to URLs and fix it. First thing, we get rid of website here, but in here we need to say uh, app name is website. And now it's gonna work. Website colon index here, website colon index. And that should work now. Refresh, let's go to our app and click and it did work. So that's the best way of storing your URLs. First in URLs file in the in, in every app, you need to specify what is the app name and then you can use it like this. So, okay, how do we approach this? How do we know where, what is the name of each page? And I think we can do exactly the same thing as we did the last time. So let's go to views in website. Uh, now we are looking at the homepage and use the debugger. So stop and rerun. I clicked here to run the debug and I clicked here to mark a breakpoint. Okay, and let's refresh, refresh. And it took me to this breakpoint indeed. And now I can look into this request and I can, I can see it here, but I can also select it, click uh, evaluate and evaluate. And it's exactly the same uh, thing here. If you have like a lot of variables in this box, maybe you just want to select exactly the thing you're you're about to evaluate. But in here, it's easy because it's just one thing. So let's look for um, the name, the index name. And I remember that it was somewhere in resolver match. So we have the app name website, and then we have namespace website and URL index. And in here, there is view name, which is website index. So instead of going with page and request path, we can do something like this view name is request so we can leave the request resolver match dot view view name okay and just to make sure i'm going to just select it here and click evaluate and evaluate and it is website index cool so we are safe to go let's run it and restart the debugger i can take this breakpoint from here and go back and what's going to happen first thing is oops let's refresh oh here's refresh what's going to happen is i don't have my navbar because it doesn't know what to do in 
base HTML, it's looking for page. There is no such thing as page anymore because I changed it to view, view name. So I'm gonna change it here, and put it here. So now I'm looking for view name in context. And instead of slash, I want to find this copy and paste. Okay, save and refresh. And it doesn't work. Why? Oh no, sorry. So I was just looking at the at the main button here. And the second thing I need to change is this one here. So we need to change this to website index. And this should be view name. And it should work. And then this will be also changed in a second. So first I want to make it work for the home page and it does work. And now when we go to the air pollution app, um, it does work. Why? Ah, because we still didn't change the view for air, air pollution. So let's go to air pollution views and instead of page, let's name it view name. And instead of request path, we want to go to resolver match dot view name okay and uh, now let's also go back to base and change it here so there is no such thing as page in context anymore because i changed it it's it's view name now so what i want to do is i want to be granular or hmm i suppose it's going to be a one pager so i can do something like this if view name is and now let's go to URLs of air pollution and add app name air pollution. Okay. And instead of air pollution welcome, we can just call it welcome. Okay. We can go here and change it to air pollution welcome. Boom. And it should work. And it did because it shows the, the buttons that it's supposed to show. So we are in the clear. Okay, so we have that sorted, that sorted, that sorted here. Now this works the way it should work with the URL tag. One last thing is if you, if we go to, okay, so let's close all, all of these because they are fixed. And now let's go to, let's go to, index HTML and see how this button takes us to this button here. So this is a link. How does it take us to the app page? For now, what we have, and let's go to admin site, what we have for each app, we have this field called, called URL and it tells you what is the exact um, URL that is supposed to be kind of put behind the domain name. Okay, so it, what it does, it when I click here, it just says, okay, go to whatever domain name slash air pollution. And that's how it's sorted here. And let's go up, oh, what's going on? Let's go up to the model here and look for app.url mm, here. So this is how it's done now. And I wanna change it because it's not exactly what I wanna do. Uh, what I want to do is I want to be more secure. So again, in admin, I want to change this to air pollution, to the name of the URL, air pollution, welcome. Okay, let's save this. Uh, of course, now it's going to be broken when I try to get in there. Yeah, so this is crazy. Like this is not <laughs> working. Um, so what we have to change in here is instead of curly braces, double curly braces, we change it to um, curly brace and percent sign like this URL. As you can see, it's highlighting this. So it might be a problem. Let's see. Let's refresh. And it takes us where it's supposed to take us. So although it's highlighted, uh, Django doesn't know what I'm doing here. I'm actually being a little bit creative. That's just my approach of doing things. It's my original idea to use this URL this way um, because we programmatically save um, that name in, sorry, in here. We call it air pollution welcome and also in 
the database it's stored as air pollution welcome and now whatever we do here if we decide like hmm, we actually want it to be somewhere like welcome and save it it's still gonna work so if I go back and refresh this it's not gonna it's not gonna work because URLs don't recognize this pattern it only can see air pollution welcome name welcome Ooh, that shouldn't be like this air pollution slash so probably I didn't need ah sorry so that should be welcome slash here okay so let's refresh and it should be fine now okay so air pollution welcome and that's if we go to the home page although I changed it in URLs I can still get there through that link and it knows that it's air pollution slash welcome now although I changed it here I didn't change anything in index because it's going for the URL name and not the actual hard-coded air pollution URL okay but I don't want this here just save it like this and again if I refresh it should say oh no I couldn't find it because it's welcome in here so now if I go down and click again it takes me to air pollution because in here it's an empty string and in the main URL as you can remember it includes it with the air pollution prefix okay so this is how it's done it's way better now using URL is a programmatic way of linking your pages and from now on we're gonna just use this okay so I think it's enough for this tutorial in the next one we're gonna start building a form where we can upload our Excel file and start processing the air pollution data okay thanks for watching and see you later